Okay, so I hope some of you did follow my last assignment, which was just to code out a simple logic uh, where we can have this nav item as a login or logout based on uh, the things that we are passing, which are props. And basically, we are getting an ID token there. Okay, uh, and uh, I think we can just work out with the ID token. We have unnecessarily passed on this profile. We don't need this profile. Okay, so I'll get rid of that in a second. Uh, first of all, let's go into the render and let's create a new variable. Let's call it page this time because I call this variable quite a lot as page uh, because uh, somehow I call that and that is why I was using it in the one of the last video. Okay, so let's do a quick if and else and this is going to be simply this dot props dot id token. There we go. If there is anything inside it, uh, I want my page variable to be assigned as this guy so I can just select this, cut this and assign this. And if there is anything in here, I want it to be log out. Okay, that is going to be log out. And since it says log out, it's going to call the function of log out. Very, very simple. I hope everybody was able to do this. Pretty simple. Okay. And what about the else part? I hope everybody will be doing the else part. And we'll be simply saying page is equals to this guy. And this guy is completely okay in here. And in the nav, uh, what the nav item is going to be? Simply a variable known as page. Save that. And this should update the things. Okay, there we go. We have got a logout. If we click on the logout, and notice it's uh, completely gone there. If I click on the local storage, it's empty there. Let's click on the login, login, okay. And the local storage is being set to ID profile and token. This is being set to logout. And this guy is coming from the hit hub again. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. But again, looks good. Now let's hit the logout. And there we go, local storage is clear. This is again back to login. And let's clean up our code. We don't need this profile. So let's just cut that out. We don't need you. We just can work with the ID token. Tokens are pretty useful. Make sure you just use them very, very carefully. Uh, rest of things is being handled by the zero auth because if there is a token being stolen, uh, it can lead to some security issues. Okay, so our things are good and we have got our GitHub uh, behind a simple login there. And I think we can work on the GitHub now. Okay, I can close this header. We don't need you anymore. Uh, app.js, I think we won't be working on the app.js now because we will be now shifting our focus on the component. This is the beauty. Um, imagine a, a scene of 100 developers or maybe 200 developers. One has done with the login system and he has just named his as GitHub. Now some other worker is working on the GitHub profile. That's a complete separate component. All he has to do is give the files to one user. And what he has to do, place the file and call uh, the component there. That's it. This can be done uh, by a complete random stranger. So that is where the React actually shines. When you have a large team, uh, you have to collaborate there. Uh, the performance is an issue and uh, uh, the, the collaboration of the user is also an issue. Then it's really nice to have. So in the next video onwards, we let's first fix this GitHub. We will be working on to a GitHub searcher. We'll be using the GitHub profile. And I know some of you have struggled uh, with the Axios, but we'll be using fetch in this case, which is actually much better than the Axios. So let's go into the next video and work on our GitHub profile.